YouTube, I'm David Boucher and welcome to day 37 of my six month life transformation chronicle. I hope you've all had a great start to the week and that uh, you've had productive times at work or in your own ventures or towards uh, your goals for 2018 as we've uh, been reminding ourselves to, to do since the beginning of the video series. So that's actually what I want to talk about today. Um, one thing that I've talked about at length in these videos is that uh, the more you the more you're able to just get started, the more likely you are to carry forth with your goals because getting started is the hardest part. And I guess the flip side there is one that is implied but haven't, I haven't really touched on and that's what do you do when you're in a rut and you're trying to get out of it. Yesterday, uh, I did say that it was kind of a weird time. I was waiting on a lot of things and it just felt strange not to have anything to do. And I set a deadline for myself that I was going to have to figure something out if, if nothing happened. Well, sure enough, this morning comes along, uh, my wife leaves for work and I was there on the couch and didn't really have much to do and, and started feeling a little bit sorry for myself. Uh, but I knew that I had to do something because otherwise it's going to be another wasted day and that was going to turn into three wasted days, four or five, and that was a disaster. So what did I do? I basically just did what I ask everyone that's watching these videos to do, and that's just take one small step. So I was on the couch, I had my phone in my hand, started going through emails, started looking at uh, websites, and sure enough, I realized, well, I can get back in touch with this person, there's this one website I haven't submitted a resume to, I can do company research on these guys, and this was all requiring a very little effort, right? I just looked at my phone, looked at my iPad, did it and all of a sudden now it's just past lunchtime. I've gotten quite a bit done and I've got another list of things to do. Now, can I guarantee that it will lead to anything concrete? Uh, maybe not, but these are, however, these are still very targeted steps that who knows might get me somewhere and they will certainly get me farther than if I had done nothing. And so yeah, everyone knows, or I think most everyone knows, the saying, a body at rest wants to stay at rest. And it's not quite accurate. It's more a body at rest stays at rest unless there's some force acting upon it. And the hard thing when it comes to humans is that force can come from someone else, you know, prodding you along. Uh, but if you're an entrepreneur, you're by yourself, that force has to come from inside. And so if I had to summarize the way of getting out of a rut, there's really three steps. So the, the first one is just being aware of it and being able to project yourself forward and knowing that if you don't start now, it's gonna be harder and harder and harder and there could be consequences down the line such as you've lost time, you've slept on an opportunity, uh, that would be bad. So first step is just recognizing it. Second step is taking any tiny small action, uh, whether that be looking something up on your phone, just calling someone, just uh, you know, stopping by someone's office. The smallest thing you can do just to, to break that inertia and get yourself some forward momentum. And then the third is just following up on it. Hopefully you find that once you've recognized it, you've taken action, uh, you're then able to identify what it is you're supposed to do and then even more than that. And then you're back to having more opportunities you know what to do, which is a much better, I think, situation to be in than not having enough to do. So that was really just what I wanted to talk about today. Um, because I've mentioned keeping going a lot, I wanted to give my thoughts on how uh, I'm able to prevent getting in a rut and and get my get my momentum going again when it looks like things have slowed down. So hopefully that motivates you to, to keep at your steps that you're taking for your goals towards 2018. Hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow for day 38. Thank you.